What happens when Toyota gives a half-ton truck to an independent Texas cattle rancher? And he uses it like a three-quarter ton truck for 100,000 grueling miles. Find out as Toyota engineers get the truck back and dissect the guts to see how it held up. This is Tundra Deconstructed. So this engine looks pretty dirty. What are you hoping to see when you take it apart? What we're looking for with the 5.7 liter uh, is how well it performed and how, how tight is this engine and how much you know performance is still there after 100,000, hard 100,000 miles. Trucks, we can't do without them. Uh, when I was a child, we did everything horseback, uh, chuck wagon, the whole nine yards. But now we have trucks and trailers, which makes it much easier. In this environment, at 100,000 miles in two years is probably about average. Either pulling a trailer, checking water, or just doing something that needs to be done on the ranch. Some days I'd do 200 miles on that truck. Trying to get this thing prepped to go over to the engine shop. Once we remove the engine from the truck, we load it up and take it over to a separate location where the engine guys tear it down and analyze its performance. This is the heart of the beast. This is, this is uh, what moves that tundra down the road. We really look closely at these when we do a durability teardown. Okay, here we have the upper intake manifold. Here this gasket looks like it's sealed pretty tight. There's nothing leaking out past anywhere. This is the uh, oil cooler housing. Everything looks pretty good. They don't even look like they got 50 miles on them. We're going to get everything laid out here on, on a table. We'll bring all the engineers over. One might be looking at pistons and another engineer might be looking at a cylinder head gasket. But we'll get everybody that's involved with this engine over here and let them look at it. Dirt is the, you know, one of the number one enemies for an engine. You could actually see like all the, the road dust that's accumulated up here on the front seal. That's a pretty good shot of what this thing went through. Well, it's, it's, it's a work truck. You know, it's, I either can do my job or I can wash a truck. You know, I'd have to wash a truck at least every other day, so I just didn't worry about it. I think whenever you're running a truck hard, you want to be able to, uh, to keep it cool. And you can't do that with a bad water pump. And uh, the water pump shows really, really good durability. It's stainless steel. Some of our competitors don't use stainless steel. So uh, that's probably one of the other reasons why this pump looks as good as it does. How hot does it get here? In the summer, on some years it gets probably up to 114, 115 degrees, like in, especially in July and August. Were you ever worried about breaking down out there in the middle of nowhere? No, never, never had a problem with worrying about being stuck. The construction of this engine is uh, four valves per cylinder, two intake valves and two exhaust valves. Um, this allows the engine to have better volumetric efficiency, and this is one of the key features that allows this engine to make 381 horsepower. The power is great. The power is great. It's not a diesel, but it's probably the best gas engine on, on the road today as far as power. They had no problem towing those trailers? Oh, no. No, you could tow it way faster than you needed to be. This thing's built for capability, and, uh, you know, they dished it out, and uh, I think we're seeing here that it really did take it. Everything in there was really well over-engineered. As an engineer, what's your favorite part? <laughs> I have about 2,000 favorite parts. <laughs> we can talk about the individual components and they are impressive on their own. There's a lot of thought that goes into each one of those components, but it's how well you can package that together and you know how those individual parts fit together. To most people, this would look like a big pile of junk, but for us, it um, allowed us to test the truck and gather data from a real world testing. You know, a lot of people weren't even sure the truck was gonna make it in the environment that we put it in especially with the heat in the dirt. But after driving 95% of its life off-road, this truck, you know, it, it did prove itself. We were expecting to come out here and have more problems and we didn't have any serious issues. And I mean, it just really functioned. This is a great truck. I'd drive this truck for another 100,000 miles. <laughs>